At Philadelphia, the Eagle regulars were 3-1 and one this year, and at home they had beaten Dallas, they had beaten the Saints. The only game they lost was at Washington. Into town today came the Redskins, and the Eagles turned to the Buddy system. And their coach, Buddy Ryan, was out in full regalia with the Chicago gangland Al Capone striped coat. There he is on the sidelines, and the Eagle fans say, Buddy Ball has arrived. The Eagles look fired up early because of this play. Cunningham is down. Darrell Grant hits him very, very late. Cunningham was stunned. Meanwhile, above the fallen quarterback, some fighting erupted. And watch Buddy Ryan come out to the field, find Darrell Grant, and says, you know what, pal? We're going to get you, but good. Randall Cunningham left for one play, and then watch this. Dave Futz misses him there. Charles Mann misses him there. He runs. Alvin Walton misses him there. Neil Okowitz misses him there. Bonnie Coleman misses him there. And Cunningham is off to the races, dips the shoulder for some more yards. Fabulous 45-yard run down to the five-yard line. Sets up an Anthony Tony touchdown, and the Eagles led the Redskins 7-0. But the Eagles' offense then sputtered. And the Redskins assume control of the game. Eagles fumble the football. Darrell Green picks it off. He, uh, arguably the fastest man in the NFL, picks it out of the air. 26 yards, a touchdown. The Skins were all of a sudden up 21-7 in the second quarter. Exactly time. my point. The kind of game the Eagles would have folded under. But these are new Eagles. Philly, late in the second quarter, goes deep to Kenny Jackson. It looks like Barry Wilburn has picked it off, but Jackson keeps wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. They say he had it. Field goal later, it's 21-10. Then, after an right now Young interception, Cunningham to Mike Quick, six yards, hit 21-17 at the half. Fourth quarter, Cunningham to Quick, 32 yards, and the Eagles lead it 24-21, although Quick almost runs out of the stadium. Rough day for Jay Schrader at the helm of the Redskins. Here, Art Monk wide open, overthrow. 16 of 46 today for Jay Schrader. A lot of yards, but not good completion average, that is for sure. Eagles defense hangs tough. Trader to Donnie Warren, and then boom! Terry Hogue makes a Buddy Ryan autograph stick. But the Skins then shocked the Eagles because Gary Clark was wide open, and Schrader found him. 47 yards, 27-24, they blocked the point after. But the Eagles say, we don't only want to be close these days, we want to come back. And Cunningham, look at him play Houdini. And fire it 50 yards in the air to Greg Garrity. It's a 40-yard play, all told. Touchdown with a minute to go. The Eagles are ahead. And another look shows what a little reading by the receiver and the QB can do. Well, the, the play is made because the D DB gets fooled. The key here for young players, once you get beat by six, seven, eight yards, don't worry about looking back for the football. Just run to the end zone to where the receiver is, then get your hands up. Greg Garrity has made big receptions before for Penn State. This one awfully big as the Philadelphia Eagles shocked the Washington Redskins at the bet today by a score of 30-27. to 27. The Eagle regulars now 4-1, although add them all up, they're 4-4. Four four. The Skins fall to 6-2. And, and afterwards, Buddy Ryan was asked, was this a turning point for the franchise? Well, I don't know about the franchise, but for these guys in this locker room, it's a great win. It could be, I think, a great football team, the best football team in the National Football League, and that shows you that, uh, you know, if on a given day, we can play with the big boys. Both teams really went after each other, and... Uh, I think there were a lot of big plays on both sides. I think it was very hard fought. I thought it was very physical. And, um, you know, you got to uh, take your hats off to Philadelphia. I thought they did a great job coming back like that, winning the ball game. It's something we want to bring to the people of Philadelphia and make them proud of us. And we want to take it to the playoffs and go over to the Super Bowl and bring something back home to these people. Divisional games, and it's tough to beat a team in your division twice. And Randall Cunningham, my goodness, was Houdini and then some today, Tom. Well, I think the fun in the game was watching Randall. Everybody knew that Randall was a great runner, runs a 4-4-40. But he is a marvelous passer, especially running against the grain. And I'm going to put him, a lot of people are going to say too early, I'm going to put him as getting to that elite crowd of uh, NFL quarterbacks. 50 yards in the air after evading two tackles is pretty impressive. How do you evaluate the Eagles' win today? Well, I put Buddy Ryan. Everyone knows I love Buddy Ryan. Anyway, he proved today he's in the real elite of generals and psychologists. Last two weeks, they beat two scam teams, former scam teams, with a strong union team. He had that hate mo motive. Today, he didn't have the hate motive. They're playing another strong union team. What does he have? He has Darryl Grant, and he uses it. Love it. And he's got the Giants coming in next, and they're talking football again in Philadelphia. That is for sure. They're talking football in Indianapolis and in San Diego. And those two division leaders met head-to-head -to -head today in Indy. We'll be back to show you that game and much more as primetime continues. Stay with us.